Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, the normal high for today is 82 degrees, and we're already up to around 82 in many communities across Connecticut here in the noon hour. Uh, 82 in our capital city, 83 in Meriden, 81 in New Haven. We've got upper 70s even in the northwest hills, and from the upper 70s to low 80s throughout to eastern Connecticut. The cool spot on the map with an onshore breeze, Groton right now at 71 degrees. The winds across, uh, say, southern and coastal Connecticut, south-southwesterly, inland fairly light and variable at the current time. And dew point values, especially across interior Connecticut, still quite Quite nice in the 50s. Those numbers will be going up as we head into and through the weekend uh, with the uh, as a southerly flow strengthens and brings a muggier air mass into Connecticut. All in advance of a cold front, a storm system that's going to bring a threat for uh, some rain and some thunderstorms. So our ICANN view in the meantime right now from Torrington showing uh, some blue skies, some puffy fair weather clouds out there. A nice scene also coming in from atop Hartford 21 looking to the southeast. We've got a calm wind there in Hartford. You can see the top of the Travelers Tower, part of the Connecticut River. A lot of sunshine reaching the green there in the Elm City of New Haven. Great visibility with the sleeping giant there off in the distance with that a mix of sun and clouds and looking quite nice as well. A little bit cooler again in New London with that wind at around uh, out of the south at 13 miles an hour. So this morning we're tracking some showers and storms offshore moving away from southern New England and there's a, a chance a potential for just a, an isolated shower to develop this afternoon in the vicinity of southern New England. A situation where many towns will remain dry. But looking at the big picture and looking westward, We've got a warm front that's going to be heading up in our direction tomorrow, and with that, we'll see the increasing humidity and increasing cloud cover, maybe some mid to late morning showers. And then there's another round. The, the main event comes tomorrow late afternoon and evening. That's when we could see some thunderstorms that could reach strong to severe limits. So yesterday evening, we were showing you this map with the shade of yellow off to the west. It has now moved eastward, includes parts of Connecticut. So uh, we go from the shade of green first into the yellow, giving us that threat risk, the possibility of storms tomorrow that could be severe. So with regard to what they could produce, uh, heavy rain uh, as well as some frequent lightning. Uh, gusty damaging winds could be the, the greatest concern. Maybe some hail and looks like a fairly low threat for a tornado here uh, within the borders of Connecticut. So future cast looking at tomorrow's weather today and timing this all out again. Maybe a spotty shower this afternoon uh, with the setting sun tonight. Any showers that do develop will quickly diminish and then overnight tonight will be clear to partly cloudy. We'll start the day tomorrow with some limited sunshine and again by late morning, early afternoon and future cast could be underplaying the shower chance during this time frame, but some spotty showers possible late morning. But watch what happens as we head towards, say, 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. Storms off to our west begin pushing into Connecticut, so perhaps reaching the 84, 91 quarter, the greater Hartford area by 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, and then pushing farther eastward across Connecticut by, say, 9 o'clock and then exiting uh, thereafter. So, again, heavy rain, frequent lightning, and gusty, perhaps damaging wind with those storms. Then on Sunday, there's the potential as well during the afternoon for some more showers and storms. It's going to be humid for both days. By late Sunday behind a cold front, the humidity starts to drop a bit. So right now going dry from Monday, comfortably warm highs in the mid 80s. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, temperatures trend cooler at or a little bit below average for a change with some on and off chances for rain through the middle part of next week. For shoreline highs this weekend, 80 on Saturday and 85 on Sunday.